Hi guys, my name is Zin and uh, this is Maybe Bonsai. Um, today it's a nice, about 12 degrees outside right now. It's really nice and warm. And uh, as you can probably tell from behind me, uh, I took some of the trees out already and I'm going to take the rest out um, and probably do some gardening afterwards. So uh, let's get started. So I brought all the trees out um, behind me here. And uh, it's a lot more than before. Uh, for last last summer that I had and uh, over here you'll see a couple of new additions uh, I, I got them on April 1st this is a Japanese maple Acer Prometum Osawazuki actually no sorry this is from last year uh, that's not new this is new the uh, Acer Prometum uh, Red Spider I I'm pretty sure this is supposed to have the uh, lacy leaves um, like similar to wolves uh, here this is a uh, Acer Palmatum Arakawa. Um, I forgot what the feature was, but it had something, <laughs> which is why I bought it. And uh, this is a Trident Maple here. Uh, this was actually grown from seed. Um, those other ones, they're all grafted, so I'm planning to air, try to air layer them and uh, see what happens. Um, but this trident maple is uh, they were they were trying to I guess whoever they uh, they get the trees from you can see here they were trying to air layer it and it failed and that's what they told me and it, you know now here it is um, this it, it's obviously is way too tall um, and it has no taper whatsoever so I think when I use this and the reason why I picked this is because there was a you know there was a cut here so. I could use it as a part of the movement. I'm gonna cut this little uh, thing off so it comes come up and go up here. I'm gonna have to air layer this as well. I could just prune it, but I think it's a waste of the tree. You know, might as well try to air layer and see if it see if it succeeds. So I can probably air layer from here and then uh, just have some taper at the bottom and then build it up over the years. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I think there was another new one, this one here with the red bark. Uh, this is a Acer Palmatum Sango Kaku. I see. I hope, uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can see this is clearly a graft. <laughs> the bark is completely different. And what it says, this is red in the winter. I'm not sure if that's the case in, in the summer, and uh, we'll find out this summer for sure. Uh, so this one also, I have air layer. I'll probably do it over here so I get the top there um, and you know once I do I'm going to leave the bottom uh, as, as a tree as well and see what happens basically so over on the other side this one is a also a trident I guess a uh, acer bird something I I don't know how to say that word but um, yeah Awako Nashiki. Uh, I think the guy told me, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is also a trident, a uh, subspecies of the trident. So those are the new ones. I think I got five new Japanese maples in general, and I think that's probably all I'm going to do. Uh, I, you know, it's fine that we have a pandemic. I'm home every day, so it's not a problem taking care of the trees. But once the pandemic is over, which, you know, the vaccine's rolling out, so it's probably going to be over, I don't know, in a year or so, hopefully, hopefully. And then, you know, life might go back to normal uh, and, you know, I, I go on vacations with my wife and the trees will be kind of, uh, I need to figure something out by that time. So I can't, I don't think I could, I should get any more because the more I have, the, the harder, it, harder it is to uh, find somebody to, to, to take care of them while I'm away. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's the willow that I got from Ray, uh, a member from the club. And I noticed that the willow actually roots from branches you know if they touch down there was a there was a word for it you know i i forgot what it was called i'm not sure if it was, if it was still called layering but um yeah some branches they touch the ground and then for a long time they'll, they'll grow roots so this is one of those trees this obviously needs some kind of a pruning um which i'll do probably soon it's, uh, it's about to leaf out so and uh my garden here i uh, dumped in 120 liters of soil just to show you these are these are uh, 60.5 liters of soil 2.14 
cubic feet per I don't know what that is <laughs> pie yeah I don't know what that is anyway 22 pounds of dirt uh, actually this is you know as you can this is potting soil right? it's not it's not topsoil and the big difference is that <laughs> potting potting soil or potting mix it's not actually dirt it's a uh, you know peat um, maybe some hummus and some, some other organic material but it's not actually dirt where topsoil if you get topsoil from uh, from a company it'll, it'll be actually be dirt like like this it'll be it'll be soil soil <laughs> so I try to mix in a dirt uh, with the, the 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 mix and uh, I'm sure that'll be fine because uh, I've done this before it, it nothing happened everything works out um, but there's it's mostly the uh, you know it's mostly um, what you call which I call it the uh, the potting mix and not that much actual uh, dirt uh, but as you can see this is 120 liters and it's not even half filled and this is like not to as high as I wanted to go um, but I think I'm going to a uh, very plenty uh, one of the uh, amber maples in here right now so that it can stay in here and start developing roots um, at the other half because I feel this half just to do that and then the other half I have to uh, figure something out to get get dirt um, those big bags are from Costco uh, they're only ten dollars per bag for 60 liters 22 pounds of soil so that's I think that's a great price It's much better <laughs> than any other price I've seen uh, and then the uh, the soil has like the slow release fertilizer in there uh, you know it's all mixed up nicely so yeah I'll figure something out for the other side um, hopefully soon uh, there is like a landscaping company near my house that uh, I could probably look into but yeah that's all what I've been doing so uh, I'm gonna put the amber maple in. Uh, I can't film it only because I don't have enough hands, and uh, there's not really a good angle around where I could put the camera. So I'm just gonna plant it, and I'll show you afterwards. All right, I got the amber maple ready, and uh, I'm gonna do something a bit weird that that most people will probably think is weird, but I think it works. Uh, here we go. This is the uh, it's an air fryer. Uh, obviously, it's missing the. Um, the actual fryer itself but that's the basket it's got all the features of a pot that could work there's side holes bottom holes everywhere and the fryer broke so and we got a new one from a warranty but anyways I didn't want to throw it out because I thought I could use it so I'm gonna use it if you look at it, it fits perfectly <laughs> uh, so what I'm hoping for is that once I plant this in I'll fill it up with soil obviously the roots are going to start growing and it's going to grow out of the sides, the bottom. Now the next year I need to root prune this and if I just bury it it'll be you know I have to kind of dig around uh, like I mentioned before that's gonna be a lot tougher doing that so if I put it in here I could trim the roots a lot easier I could actually just lift the handle and get this out now that's what I think is gonna happen but I don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> so we'll try this for a year and uh, we'll see how it works okay if it doesn't work you know the tree's not gonna die I'll take it out and we'll, we'll replant it it's just fine so uh, that's what I'm gonna do um, yeah I'm gonna take it out of the uh, the pot here and uh, plant it plant in okay I'll show you the end, end results so there it is uh, I'm gonna bury the rest around kind of a mountain uh, for, for sure but I, would just, I just want to show you the root base on this uh, maple uh, there's a big root there, there, and there's, there's into three ways. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, obviously, obviously, this came from a like an actual kind of a bonsai nursery, so it looks fine, and everything was taken care of. I'm gonna put this back on. You know, give it a bit of moisture, and uh, once it starts leafing out, I'm gonna apply fertilizer, uh, fertilizer which is gonna be this green stuff. This this came from. Um, this pot actually from last year it's, it's no good now but I'm gonna mount this up and show you the finished result okay it's done <laughs> uh, yeah it's pretty uh, buried in there pretty good so we'll see how this grows and uh, we'll see when it comes to next uh, next year when I uh, when I try to root prune this and we'll see uh, we'll see what happens 
and uh, we're gonna find out how the roots grew. Um, another thing to mention is that these potting soil, potting mix, they're gonna de biodegrade over time um, because they're not actual dirt, they're just organic material of, of kinds. So in a few years, they're, they're, they're just gonna disappear in a way. Uh, so everything will go down, which is why I think I need to get actual topsoil mixed with this maybe and uh you know that'll that'll give it fertilizer and it'll be uh still here after a few years um so just before we end here this is the strawberry that's coming up uh I'm not sure if my shadow's blocking it but uh but yeah i didn't know they were uh winter hardy but they are they're coming up and apparently this is a green onion <laughs> Uh, this I literally just bought from like, you know, grocery stores and you cut the roots off and you just plant it Basically off it goes Oh, this one was still alive as well Put that back in there Yeah, it made it through the winter. There's another one on the corner which came through. I was kind of surprised I didn't know they were uh, I didn't know they were hardy <laughs> Not hardy, you know, over the whole winter Um, yeah so, so yeah, that's it for today. Um, here's one last look of all the trees. It grew, I would say probably double from when I started. Um, but yeah, I have to keep it under control or else I, I might run into trouble. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.